Hey, it's Dr. Fred, and we are going through the Back to Health book. Actually, I kept this one for the general public. This is the best kept secret to heal your back pain. If you're in the general public, you can get this on Amazon or go to Amazon and get Back to Health if you're a chiropractor for your patients. Hey, we're getting into, uh, we started last week, and now we're getting into the chapter, Obsession Becomes a Subconscious Habit. Hey, what's that mean? Flexion is death. Extension is life. What's that mean? We have the normal curves in the spine and we live in a flexion distorted society. So what do we do? We look at our phones, we sit in our cars, we sit on the couch, uh, we sit at the table, we watch TV. I mean, everything we do is flexion distorted and flexion is death, extension is life because of the traction it causes on the spinal cord. So what we're going to go over today is why people get addicted to that flexion distorted life, why they get addicted to phones, and why it's destroying their health. And so don't you think that technology companies know this? Hey, there's a book, and I'm going to read right here. It's a book. It's called Hooked. It's written by a gentleman near IL, and, and what he did is he worked in the gaming industry, and they find out what are characteristics of human behavior that get people addicted. Now, don't you think they're using this on apps? <laughs> they know what they're doing. And so, hey, there's, I'm going to use a quote from this. And this is in the se second chapter, right? You can't, I don't know if you can see this. How obsession becomes a subconscious habit. So this is how people can actually control their behavior. So they don't make themselves sick because flexion is breaking down their spine, breaking down their nervous system, breaking down their health, shutting down their DNA. It's, it's doing all kinds of things that are totally destructive to our health, which is why chiropractic is the number one most powerful healthcare system. Why? Because energy is health. Notice all these little one-liners I'm giving because we, in elite, we create 90% lifestyle patients and our, that's our standard and the other standard is 100% of every patient that ha their hand hits their front door will know chiropractic is a healthcare lifestyle for you and your family. So if you're a doctor, check this out and even if you're a patient, even if you're in the general public, man, you want to you want to get a hold of this book and read it. So Let's go to Near Al. What did he say? So he wrote a book called Hook. Now, where is this? Here we go. It's called Hook, and there's three phases. One is we need a trigger. What's that mean? A psychological action that triggers an emotion. So you need that trigger. What's the trigger? The ding, the buzz in your pocket. And that's how this book, this story starts because people remember 22 times more information from a story. This book is written like a story that's got boatloads of medical research and facts on why the spine and nervous system is the foundation of health and life of the body. Because health is energy. Energy is health. You can even be dyslexic. Like if your name was Bob, you can say forwards, backwards. Still the same thing, right? Energy is health. Health is energy. Healing is energy. Healing is, healing is health. <clears throat> Healing is energy. So we go. So we get a trigger, and that trigger initiates an action. What's that action? Pull the phone out of your pocket, look down, and then all of a sudden, boom, flexion, flexion distortion happens. And then what do we get? A variable reward. Hey, that's why people keep pulling slot machines. Why is that? Oh, man, I got three out of four. Let me get four out of four. I'm going to win the jackpot. Because a variable reward is what is addicting now they do this in the gaming industry don't you think they do this in technology as well on all the apps and things that you scroll through and and um you know facebook and all that stuff that you're doing right now <laughs> so isn't that awesome so what happens is then you have an addictive behavior so we're addicted to flexion distortion that's a problem. The majority of the general public, well, they know about TechSnack. Big freaking deal. And it goes through that right here. It talks about when your head, when your 10-pound, average 10-pound head moves an inch forward, only an inch, that's this much. That's not very much. 
that's really, hey, I'm down here tying my shoes. That's a couple inches forward. But that means your head goes from 10 pounds to 60 pounds. Now, if you were to hold out a 60 pound bowling ball right here, how fast would your arms get tired? Well, number one, the muscles in your arms are like the mechanics of your spine. What happens? It fatigues. That means it collapses. And as it collapses forward, it stretches your spinal cord like a rubber band. See, the problem isn't flexion distortion. The problem is you got a spinal cord running down the middle. And for me to flex forward, that spinal cord has to follow that spine. So that spinal column now flexes. You take out those extension, health, and strength curves. And now what happens? It starts to stretch the spinal cord, and then it gets stuck like that. Well, that's like stretching a rubber band and then holding it there. What happens to the tension in the rubber band? Well, it stays there and increases. What happens to the diameter, right? It gets thinner. Now those nerves are getting smashed. Now your spinal cord turns into a garden hose instead of a fire hose rushing energy down the brain and spinal cord out to all the organs, bathing every cell in your body with life-giving healing energy. Now, woof, it shuts down, man. That's the big dimmer switch. Now, the more we adapt this lifestyle, now here's the problem. In eight minutes, the ligaments start to adapt. In 20 minutes, you have full plastic deformation. What's that mean? Everything starts to distort. All the ligaments start to stretch, and then they stay that way. What's that mean? That means the discs start to get that rather than being a, you know, if, if I look at my head like this, the disc should be shaped like that, right? Instead, they get shaped like this begins to change the structure of your spine. Now you have a permanent deformation of the curves. Now the spinal cord is under constant tension. And when we look at the brain sending energy down the spinal cord, right here, here's all of your parasympathetic stimulus. What's that mean? Autonomic nervous system. What's parasympathetic? That's peace. That's relaxation. Um, that's meditation. So what happens now that gets all jacked up. Now we're under constant stress. Your amygdala, what's that mean? Your fight or flight part of your brain is firing off like the 4th of July. You have tension on the spinal cord. You're under sympathetic stress. Why do we call it sympathetic? Because we have sympathy that you're in constant fight or flight. That means, what's that mean? You're in constant and adrenaline physiology which means you can't live like that. You're not supposed to live like that. Like adrenaline is good. You know, if you're in a life-threatening situation and you see a car's coming and you jump out of the way, that's probably a good thing. But when you live like that, your immune system crashes. Your metabolism crashes. Your organs become diseased. And now this flexion distortion, why? Because you're sitting here minute after minute after minute after 10 minutes, your body starts to form that way. By the way, check this out. Look at this posture. Guess what? If you have this posture, people aren't going around and go, wow, look at that guy. Look how much forward his head is. Look at how his shoulders are rounded. That dude is sexy, okay? That forward flex posture, that's sexy. Do you hear people say that? Or do they look like, wow, they're getting old. Or man, they must be sick. People innately know that this forward head posture is related to sickness and disease. So what I go through in this book, in this chapter, are six human needs. What are these needs? One, certainty. What's that mean? There's things that we absolutely want to know we want to be certain of. Now, it would be nice if you were certain that I would start at 6 o'clock on time, but today I was at Whole Foods going, oh, crap, i got to do a lot. Uncertainty mean we need spont spont spontaneity. Significance, love, and connection, growth, contribution. So these apps begin to meet all six of these needs, which is why it becomes an addiction. Now we get addicted. We're stuck in this forward flex posture. By the way, we're going to go over research these nerves right at the base of your neck. Those are your heart and lungs. So you go like this. You go 10 pounds to 60 pounds. All of a sudden, you start to collapse that way. Your spine and muscles get tired. They start to form like this. 
The bigger part is your spinal cord's under tension and what's massive, what are those, what are those two organs right below your neck, heart and lungs? Are those important? Do you think those are important organs? Are those two organs that you want to increase six times the stress on? You want to shut down that energy, put six times the stress on your heart. Why do people have tachycardia? Why all of a sudden does your heart beat real fast for no reason? Why all of a sudden you're like, you know, I didn't have high blood pressure and now I have high blood pressure. Why? Because your heart's working way faster to do the job as opposed to when it's relaxed. It's got to do the same job. It's got to beat faster. It's got to work faster. Now your lungs aren't oxygenating the same because they don't work right. Now they're more sensitive to all the toxins and pollutants out in the environment. Then you wonder, how did I get asthma? Because this is really also related. The minute you go like this, boom, there goes your metabolism and immune system. This little bit right here, there's metabolism, immune system. This little bit, those are the nerves, those are weakening your upper extremities. This little bit, now we're in the heart and lungs. Then I flex forward more. Now I'm into the digestive tract. The, the more you flex, the more things it weakens. It begins to create a more dramatic effect on your health. Now you're not stretching that spinal cord like this. You're stretching it like this, which means now it's going all the way down your back, which means now it's covering your whole body, which means now you have a systemic problem. And we're going to get into the studies in this book, which means now you have an autoimmune disease. Now you have a weakened immune system. And then you get, uh-oh, here comes the C word, cancer. Isn't that amazing? We're going to go through studies that show the relationship between tension on the cord, sympathetic stress, all this forward head, flex forward uh, postures that are breaking down our body, making it weak and leading to disease. Don't you think that's fascinating? I think it's fascinating. Guess what? It's all here in this book, man. Go to Amazon. Hey, if you're in the general public, you want to get this, the best kept secret to heal your back pain. It's got my picture on it. That may be why you want it. But if you're a doctor, get a back to health book. doesn't have my picture on it. And uh, you can get that on Amazon or just call Elite Coaching and order them. Uh, the doctors that use this book, they give it on day two, where a patient looks at their x-rays, gets this book. Here's how you get family referrals, because what you're going to learn in this book is why chiropractic is most powerful healthcare lifestyle. It's not just healthcare. It's a healthcare lifestyle. Spine and Nervous System's Foundational Life Without the Body. Take care of it all your life. Guess what? You don't have to worry about health problems. How would you like to live with the most confidence and the strength and health of your body for the rest of your life? Take care of your spine and nervous system. Read this book. It will change your life for generations. There you go. Okay, you guys. See you next week. Love you all. We're going to continue the book and bring you more cool stuff. Peace.